Sagittarius. Let's see what is this portal getting to me. I'm really rushing through it. I cannot fuss about everything is live. I'm getting lots of messages. If you check my community page, you're going to see a newsletter that I posted on the portal, very important, um, in order to make sure that you feel comfort in your own skin and, and also to attract abundance and who cannot use more than that or more of that, right? All right. So also guys, I am editing and working on my annual telescopes during the stuff. So it's going to be fantastic. So please order. Um, the details are in the description. So let's see. Sagittarians, November, December, and let's see what kind of perspective. You can see I'm only doing them upright. And, and this is kind of like short, sweet, and quick to try to kind of like absorb the information that I can get because it's, it's just amazing. It's a third party or somebody who has been in a third party. If you have been, somebody's thinking about you and somebody's thinking, well, I shouldn't and I shouldn't. It is about some kind of communication and maybe that communication is made impossible. <sighs> maybe because somebody is married or, I mean, we have this anchor, but that anchor will be removed from what I see. There's like something that has been holding this person um, back that's going to get released. Yes, there were more than one person, and you're hearing my doggo being very thirsty over there. He, my doggo is very specific uh, doggo. He doesn't want to eat even the best food. He wants homemade cooked food. So there you go. I don't cook. Didn't cook for my husband, but I'm cooking for my my tiger the doggo. So, and the cats are sleeping during this transit. They're saying, "Oh my gosh, I just have to be pretty." Look at that. The ring is in the house of the mice. So what is this all going to be about? Is this going to be about your marriage or is this going to be about somebody's marriage? I, I clearly see somebody's marriage in jeopardy here. I am sorry to say, so it's good to know if this is your marriage, then you have ability to remedy that. You have this health and the sun. It can be renourished. It can be put back to health. See, it can be pulled back in the house. Specifically, this is talking about those of you who have unfinished business from the past and maybe even those of you who are working from your home or have an entrepreneurial job. Yes, guys, you're going to have a little hurdles in this period and what you really need to learn and how you need to position yourself is kind of like understand patience. It almost like works with your sign. Your sign is all about patience. It's also about expansion. Kind of like give it some extra time how you deal with, right? Now, it's really interesting that we have the lady, we have the gentleman. These are two main significators over here. But if you see the lady, she has the book about her. These are kind of like those secrets. And there is also this ship but the coffin is here. So, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with somebody long distance kind of a thing. Maybe you're tired of that kind of communication because look at this, you're cracking the whip and all the mice will kind of like scatter around. You, you may be tired of the situation. It is not completely clear. That is maybe not completely... Um, You're not satisfied with the answers that you are receiving. Let me put it this way. And look at this, the skite and the snake. If you had somebody who is a third party in a way, almost like looks like you're steam rolling through this person. Look at this. Somebody is creating so much trouble to you. Maybe you're finding out about somebody's infidelity. That could also be the case. Or it could be also... You know, there is somebody who is from the past as well because I see the snake is um, knighting the lilies. So it could actually really talk about 
some issue that well, this person can have gray hair or salt and pepper or even be bald if you wish that way. It's really interesting because the gentleman over here is in the house of the key and the key is right above. So somebody almost like feels powerless to create a solution. This is really totally weird and they need to transform themselves or reinvent themselves because the coffin is in the house of the man and the clover is in the house of the woman on top of that you are knitting it, right? It looks like a lots of direction, lots of kind of like things are happening here. There are lots of things happening in the middle and looks like they need to be cleared. Some of you ladies, you have a child and you kind of like are feeling that you're currently dedicated to your home, to your own destiny, to maybe even esoteric studies that they see here. The book is in the house of the house which is in the house of the sun. So you feel, and this is not typical for Sagittarians, domesticated. You feel um, that, you know, like that intrigue of philosophy, of studies, is like, I mean, really something that is pushing you forward. Maybe you haven't done that in a while. Because look at here, you have the stars and the rider and the fox opening it up. So it looks some communication, some journey that you kind of like started to embark on. But you have run into some sort of problems and this is in the house of the ship. So problems have been with either travel or, I mean, and the ship is over here in the house of the fish, which is right next to you. So it means that you have been swirling in some kind of like let's say soup it could have been even a toxic soup it could have been you could have been surrounded with people who who couldn't maybe who have been cunning who maybe didn't have your best interest in mind that is specifically uh, related to those of you maybe uh, who have co-workers because these people maybe didn't have your best interest in mind and maybe there was some kind of like intrigue that have been placed and it's kind of like really difficult for you to really see where you're going and how you're going and literally just imagine you're maybe blindfolded in a freaking fog and you're walking on a slippery banana peels that's how it's going to feel for actually a while for possibly by the end of the year because you are resolving something karmic <sighs> and I think I'm resolving something karmic I have had this like str strong dream that there's like something in my past life that I really have to resolve this one and it even came to me that I'm resolving some murder it's just like I'm not so sure if I murder somebody in the past life or, you know, that I was murdered and I have to deal with this trauma, kind of like stuff. It's weird. It's no wonder, I mean, kind of like really terrified of people who are physically dangerous for some reason. Also, I'm afraid of drowning. <laughs> you can tell I, I have my own kind of like things. But look at this, the heart and the snake. There's like still some kind of connection here. There's a crossroads over here that is kind of like beginning of the new decade for you you are at the crossroads and the crossroads is in the house of the clouds those clouds that I told you are kind of like walking through it and it looks like this is something that you have been already dealing with for uh, for a while so it's not something unknown at least like I mean you were thinking like a man cat give me some good news because I'm so freaking tired of going nowhere things are issue like you see you have the tower and the key could be some kind of legal issues that that are kind of like really hard because they're also karmic look at this like you have this cross they depend on one person and maybe this person is not collaborating but this person is not feeling that well they're like look they're on the bottom of the deck they're like sort of like what in the cold face category almost like this is a separate reading for itself they have maybe you're dealing with somebody who's overseas maybe there's like 
lack of communication because the letter is meeting the mountain and so in order to deliver this letter you have to go over this mountain and this mountain looks like it has snow peaks and it's really really hard to do it because there are some issues from the past that still need to be dealt with so you will be really uh, gaining speed and you'll be gaining energy in the beginning of the next year I think you are clearly going to be tired. It's kind of weird. The heart is in the house of the snake and the snake is being cut over here. So you are cutting somebody off or somebody is being cut off and that is going to be the blessing. It's maybe not something that you want because remember how I told you anchor? Uh, it's usually talking about some solidity or something up for you because that's in the house of the coffin. That is being buried. Uh, I don't know, it could mean that it's buried so deep inside of that mud on the bottom of the ocean that you're moving nowhere, but I would tend to think that some kind of like security or some kind of solidity, something um, moving forward. It's interesting enough, it looks like that some of you have been financially depending on a person in which, who could be a female, she could be female in her 40s, uh, she could be divorced female in her 40s, but a snake can be any person um, who doesn't really uh, mean well for you. You also have the fox, which is another character to deal with. You have the mice, you have a whole bunch of characters. So things are happening to you. You're almost like in some kind of like vortex that things are swirling around you where as I said, like you're feeling, oh my freaking God, like, I mean, did I not just finish this? How come that I'm dealing with this all over again? But then here is the clue, because look at here, I'm looking here, it's going to be tough. Getting through here, unknown, you need to learn this here, oh my God. Yes, it's possible, but you have to deal with a whole bunch of people who you really don't want around. But then here, again, look, you're dealing with somebody who is not collaborating. So almost like the only exit is here. You might be also moving, guys. You might be moving house. And you might be moving to a place or area or neighborhood or town where you used to be before. Because it's crossroads. This is the house of the crossroads. And we have the sun over here. It is like really well positioned, right? So be very careful not to quickly jump to some kind of commitments. Uh, just because you're going to get this like feeling kind of like okay the coast is clear you can kind of go uh, at some point uh, you might also have find your mate at your work and some of you might be a little bit entrepreneurial so work studies um, seminars book clubs that kind of like sort of thing will be hub of activity and we are really talking after you clear this crap, because it is crap, all of a sudden, it's almost like, you know, you're holding this like cat's tail and cat is just trying to get out and it can't, and then you release it and it's like, Phew! that's how it's going to feel for you guys. Okay, I gotta go to the next sign to kind of cover everybody. Hopefully this was helpful, guys. Please order annual taroscopes. And until the next month, you know, guys, that I love you. Would love to read your comments. So all the best.